turn a dial, rotate a servo. That's the basic idea behind this easy to use product, which also features car stereo style buttons, which lets you recall specific positions. Let's take a look at the Servo Commander. First, you just simply plug your servo in to one of the sets of pins at the top of the board here. There are two sets of pins, and it doesn't matter which one you plug your servo into, as long as you orient it correctly. So just make sure your black wire is lined up with the negative line, and your yellow or white wire is lined up with the S. The second set of pins can be used to control a second servo. Both servos will receive the same signal, but if the servos are different, they may respond differently to it. Because the servo commander sends out a standard PWM signal, that lets it control motor controllers like this one that use a PWM signal as their input. And that lets you turn a dial to control the speed and direction of motors like this guy here. And you'll notice that the servo commander is powered via the BEC that's built into that motor controller. And don't forget, the servo commander is also great for controlling linear servos. The XT30 connector at the bottom of the board is going to be your primary power input. However, if you have an extra set of pins at the top of the board, you can alternatively plug in a battery which has a TJCA connector. The Servo Commander can operate on anywhere from 5 to 15 volts DC, but you want to take note of the voltage range of your servos because the voltage that's being passed into the Servo Commander is being passed through to power your servos. So you want to make sure that it's within a range that's not going to cause them damage. Now, if you're working with higher voltages, you may want to check out our voltage regulator. It'll dock directly to the servo commander like that and let you work with higher voltages like this 12 volt battery. So I'm going to plug this in and I have this guy set up to run at 8.4 volts, which is the maximum that our GoBuilda servos can operate at. So I'm getting the maximum power and speed out of my servo. Now, if you want to use one of those preset buttons that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it's very simple. It's much like a car radio. You simply turn the knob until the servo is where you want it to be and then press and hold one of those buttons. The light associated with that button will flash and then remain steady and that'll let you know that it's done recording the position. After that, you can keep using your servo and then at any point in time, you can press that button and it'll jump back to that position. All servos operate off of a PWM signal and depending on the servo and the manufacturer, it may be designed to operate off of a very narrow range or a very wide range. If you try to send a wide range signal to a narrow range servo, it can actually damage itself trying to reach a position it was never meant to reach in the first place. So that's why out of the box, our servo commander will send out the most narrow, most safe range. If your servo can handle a wider range, which you can check by looking at the specs table on the product page, then you can go ahead and bump up the range that this is gonna send out to the servo. So first, we're gonna disconnect power. And we're gonna look at this graphic that I'm gonna show you here to determine which is the right range for you. And in this case, I'm using a GoBuilda servo. Now this graphic is also gonna be linked to from the description below, and you can also see it in the PDF that's called Startup Guide on the product page for the Servo Commander. So once you know what button you want, we're gonna press and hold number four here for our GoBuilda servo. And while I'm holding that down, I'm simply going to apply power again. The light across from that button is going to blink and then turn on solid, letting me know that I've now reprogrammed this servo commander to send out that wider range. And now I can take full advantage of the complete amount of travel that this servo is capable of achieving. If your servo's rotation is opposite of what you'd like it to be, we've got you covered. Simply disconnect the power, hold down any two buttons, and reconnect the power. Once it reboots, it'll be rotating in the opposite direction. And much like the other setting where you changed the signal range, this setting will save internally. And that means if you disconnect power and reconnect power later on, all your settings will be there. Whether you want to bolt this down to a different GoBuilder component like this U-channel or simply screw it down to a piece of wood, having these four millimeter diameter through holes on a 32 millimeter square pattern it's going to make that an easy process and it's going to get you one step closer to the mad scientist control console of your dreams. We hope you love the Servo Commander as much as we do and we can't wait to see what you build with it. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach us at tech at gobilda.com.